Hey, you, get over here. Oh, I know what it is. You're afraid because I'm the big bad wolf. Today I'm interviewing the director Pierre Pouffel. Nice to meet you. I'm Zoe from Kids First and from Zoe at the Movies, and I'm so excited to talk to you today. Congratulations on your debut feature film, The Bad Guys, Pierre. Um, this movie is based on a children's book um, by Aaron Bailey, so I think that's such um, so special that you guys could turn it into a movie, and I love it. I think the film turned out so good. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Good to um, be here. Right? The film talks about second chances, has so many great topics like friendship. I love the dynamic between the wolf and the snake. I, I love their friendship throughout the entire film, the teamwork. So what was your purpose really in the storyline? Well, yeah, you're right. I think it's uh, it's like you, you put your finger on it. It really was to be exploring your friendship story, you know, and, um, uh, and really telling the story of a character who's feeling left out and wants to belong and wants to be loved, you know, because he's being un un unjustly judged uh, as a villain, even though... So he kind of ad adapted, adopted this uh, persona of being the bad guy. But did he ever choose to be the bad guy? No, not really. And so it's just the, 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 sto the, the story is really the growth of this character decides to... Uh, he wants to belong, he wants to be loved, he wants to become something else. He doesn't want to be that stereotype anymore. What are you doing? He's being like, you know, deeply pulled to, to change. But the problem through this is that he knows that if he changes and follows his heart, his friend might not like it, you know, and especially his best friend, Mr. Snake, who, yeah, clearly resents him for wanting to change and changing. Um, so it's ultimately like a really a friendship story, but it's also like a big reinvent, like a character that reinvents himself and decides to go along with what he feels is important for him. Um, and it's also the story that, you know, a message that really says if your friends are really good friends and your best friends, they will understand what you're going through and they will help you go through it and understand you, you know. Absolutely. I think looking at the film, um, you kind of think it's just an animation film and it's very cute, but it really has those really touching story messages hidden in the storyline that I love and adults also really love the references to Pulp Fiction, Ocean Eleven and I'm sure the kids love the jokes and just watching the film in general. So was it hard would you say to make it equally enjoyable and engaging for kids and for adults? I, I, would, I would say more it was definitely a very big uh, goal of ours to be able to just speak to everyone. Um, and to really make sure that, you know, we were not talking down to younger audiences and kids. Um, we, I never wanted to have the story just being dumbed down so that the kids could follow it because I believe that any age, they, they understand, like, kids understand everything so fast and so well. Uh, and so therefore, are usually better than their parents. So that was on this, on this side, that was great. Um, so it was never about talking down to children, but it was like making sure that we had enough appeal for the children and enough appeal for the adults to really come and enjoy the film because really what we're talking about is we're we're making a movie that is a, an homage to heist movies which are typically adult films and we don't see them uh often done for, for younger audiences um and so how do you make sure that a heist movie like this ocean 11 style or tarantino style is also understood and, and, and loved by, by children, you know, and, and that was really the goal there. And I think the reference, the wittiness of the dialogue, the, the pacing, the action sequences, all of that was definitely a, something that attracted um, the parents, you know, uh, and the charm and the silliness and the goofiness of the characters and the st stupidity of the animation was definitely a plus, an entry point for the children. And then after that, the whole kind of twist and turns and cons and stealing stuff and the gangsters. And I think that's an appeal for everybody, really. So, yes, it was definitely a, it's a long answer to say, yes, we were very, I was very aware of it and really wanted to make sure it was appealing for everybody. And yes, it's not always easy to do. Sometimes it's actually quite difficult. <laughs> Right. But I love that the story and I love that the whole film has that very LA light kind of aesthetic going on. The characters, the music, uh, it definitely ties into this heist film and makes it enjoyable. And now looking at the characters themselves, they are bad guys. So do you think it was 
also a challenge to make your characters likable for the audience because obviously you love them but they are labeled as the bad guys yeah 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 it's difficult it's not easy it's not easy to actually uh i i i, I kind of re refer to it often where if that was a movie shot in live action so with actors this the simple you know fact to have an actor um you know so charming that you love them even if they are the bad guys you love them because they're an actor it's a you know it's a human made out of flesh and and and, and usually a great actor like imagine ocean 11 you just love george Clooney and you love brad pitt and you love matt damon because they're brad pitt and george Clooney and matt damon and they're so good at what they do and they're so charming in animation you don't have that luxury because you're creating those characters from scratch you know um so it's definitely tricky and definitely same thing we're very mindful of that and so we had to change the opening quite a few times to make sure that we understood where they were coming from where they're likable enough was mr wolf kind of the, the big bad wolf but at the same time so cool and charming that you really fell in love with him and then talking to you that you know kind of a voiceover talking to the audience explaining where he comes from and why does he why is he this way why is he a bad guy uh, and then making sure that all their like making sure that the gang became a family i think helped us big time in the idea of m making us love them you know if they were a family a tight group and they had like they were really caring for each other then it became a um, character that you would love you know right and i also love the voices and the cast of voices that went along with the characters it really tied everything in did you already have actors in mind when you were uh, making the characters that you wanted to be in the film i i don't think at the very beginning we had anyone in mind specifically i think uh in my recollection i think the only one that were was kind of a kind of a dream cast for us very early on was aquafina or tarantula um and we ended up having a Grofina, which was amazing um but when i was designing those characters with my designers and everybody uh, we didn't we didn't have the cast yet we we're in the process of casting but i don't think we had anyone specific in mind you know aaron blaby the writer of the books had a few people that he want, like, kind of wanted us to explore and then every one of us had some thoughts but we didn't have okay this is the one that we need so we went through an ex extensive casting process uh and and get get you know thinking of it as a, an ensemble cast and not just one and then another one it was all like casting it all together and just making sure that will they work together will they work you know with the voice being different enough and stuff like that um but yeah no there was not someone specifically in mind you know we're waiting for the digital release and we're so excited for that again i my, uh, we watched the film last night again because it was just so good and huge congratulations. Thank you so much, Ray. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Robbery! Robbery!